All right, this is SSL Family Dad, and today we're finally getting internet in our barn. Okay, so for all you homesteads and farms and rural people out there in the world uh, that want to get internet out into your garage or your barn or a greenhouse or some type of an outbuilding uh, or anywhere on your property really that you have power, uh, this video is for you. So uh, one of my most requested videos um, of all time since I started the channel was how to do this and so I want to uh, go through what we've done to get internet out at our barn. Okay, so pre-game checklist. Let's talk about a couple things that you're gonna need to make this happen. So if you have an old router, a router that you can use to configure in your remote location, your barn, your, your garage, whatever. If you have an old router, grab that. You can use this. We can reconfigure this as an access point and use that in our location. Then you're going to need to purchase one of these. This is a Powerline Ethernet adapter kit. It comes with two adapters. The adapters look just like this. So you're gonna get two of these. Uh, all this does is extends an ethernet port out into your remote location. So you're gonna plug one of these in, uh, just plugs right into the wall outlet. You don't wanna plug it into a surge protector or anything like that. Plug it directly into the wall near your router in your home. You're gonna then take the included ethernet cable that comes with this and you're gonna plug this in to your router, your whatever internet provider you have, DSL, cable, some type of wireless center, whatever you have, you have some type of home router in your home, you're gonna plug this in to that router, plug this into the wall in your home. Then you're gonna take the second adapter that you get and you're gonna plug this into an outlet in your barn. And what this does is it takes that internet signal from your router in your home and it converts it to a signal that it actually sends right through the copper power lines that run throughout your home, your barn, your garage, whatever it is. It sends it to all, throughout all those lines in your home. The other one that you plug in out in your remote building takes that signal sent through those copper power lines, converts it back to an internet signal, and then you can run that back out to your access point. So this will give you a full internet signal, full wireless signal of all the whole area around your outbuilding. So whether it's garage, pull barn, whatever it is, you're gonna have wireless, good strong wireless signal wherever you are out there. Now, if you do this using an old router, there's some special configuration that you're gonna want to use to set this router up properly. Now, yes, you can just plug this uh, ethernet cord right into the, to the yellow WAN port on your router and stick it out there and it's probably going to work. However, if you do it that way, you will not have access to wireless printers, smart devices, and all that kind of stuff from your home that you have out in your barn and vice versa. They won't communicate with each other. So you actually have to configure this as an access point. I have a video that I will link right up in the card system that is a very detailed step-by-step -step process on how to configure an old router to be used as an access point follow it it'll be very simple for you you'll be able to set it up some of these new routers actually have an access point feature you literally just go in turn it turn it into an access point select it and then you're done if you don't have a old old router that you want to use for wireless then you need to get a different kit there's another kit I will link in the description it comes with one of these to put in your home goes right next to your router plug it in same way as the other one but then the other device the second one it gives you actually transmits a wireless signal you just plug it in out in your barn, your, your, your garage, your shop, your, out by your pool, wherever you want it, wherever you have an outlet. You just plug this thing in and it will transmit wireless to the area. It's a not quite of a strong wireless signal as using a good router, but it will get you by and it will work. Link to that product in the description. I recommend using these Netgear ones. Stay away from the TP-Link and the other cheaper ones. These ones are great. I've used them, they work. They're long lasting and there's no configuration. Plug it in, it works. You can then expand. You want to get two more of these? You can get more of these. You can put them all over the place. You can put one in your attic. You can put one in your back side of your house. You can put one out by your pool. You can put one in your garage, one in your barn, one in your greenhouse. Anywhere you have power outlets, you can have internet. You can have internet set up all over the place. Your whole property can be covered. These things work great. They don't slow your internet connection down. They give you a full wired type uh, internet connection. They, are, they, they work really well. So check these things out. All I did to set mine up in the barn, use the old router, plugged it in out there to an available outlet. I actually only have one outlet in the barn right now. And I just 
threw a screw in, the, in a pole, one of our poles, the pole barn, and I put this up higher. You want to have your wireless set up higher, uh, as high as possible, to get the best coverage. Even with our metal roof, metal siding barn, I still get great signal out at our greenhouse back here, out in the yard back here, even out into the hay fields a little ways, out in the, all out in our, in our area out here by the bonfire and everything, you get great signal. So I would uh, really recommend using an old router if you have one. The only thing better than one of these to get that internet signal out to your building is burying an ethernet cable. And honestly, if you can bury a good Cat6 shielded ethernet cable out to your location, you know, run it out there when you run power, run it out there when you run water to your building or whatever you do, you know, that's obviously the best way to go. But if you don't want to do that, check these things out. I'm telling you guys, they work and it's great. All that's left to do is get your devices connected when you come out to the barn to your new network. And now I have full internet signal out here and I can watch my uh, favorite SSL Family Dad videos. Ethernet cable into our computer's ethernet port. With no buffering, no trouble. Now I'll go ahead and take you back into the computer here and I'll show you how to actually... One of the things that we've been wanting to do uh, on our farm here is be able to put some webcams out here, do some live streams, uh, put webcams on our animals when they're, when they're about to give birth that we can check on, uh, maybe put Alexa out here, have some smart devices. I'm also always using my phone or tablets to play music or look up parts for the tractor during repairs, uh, look up problems I might see in animals and all kinds of different things that I'm on the internet for. And uh, it was always a trouble. It was always trouble out here. We finally have a full internet access, uh, full signal out here in the barn. Uh, our barn is about uh, 150 feet away from our home, and uh, our wireless doesn't reach out here at all. So uh, it's very nice to to have this set up. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the tutorial today. Uh, something I've been wanting to do for a long time, and so hopefully, you help somebody out uh, get internet out to your outbuildings. If you guys have questions, please let me know in the description. All the products will be linked there that I've talked about and mentioned uh, over on Amazon. I do monitor these videos and comments for years to come. So if you're looking at this video and uh, you have a question, please let me know. I will always try to get back to people if I can. Don't forget to reach down and tap the thumbs up button. It makes a huge difference for these videos. If you found this information useful at all, uh, or even entertaining, hit that thumbs up button for me. Uh, makes a huge difference for how the videos get ranked and how people can find them. So subscribe to the SSL Family Dad channel if you'd like to follow along. Uh, you never know what to expect over here, so uh, love to have you guys. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.